Welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. If you're easily scared, do not watch this video. Trust me. If you're easily... And if you're young, don't watch this video. Unless, of course, you're being strapped to a chair and forced to watch it, which is a bit weird, and I don't know if that would happen. But, you know, weird things do happen in this world, so... Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's special stars immediately began an investigation. The case was apparently closed. Thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from the Long cutscene. So, as you may know, this game is split into four sections Claire A, Claire B, Leon A, Leon B. And I'll be doing them all. Starting with Clary. And this scene is basically the same no matter which one you play on, so probably in the second one I'll skip it. I mean, would've got her. <laughs> I don't know, he's supposed to be a cop, but I don't know how he got where he got the keys. Put your seatbelt on. It's gonna be a mess to clean up. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'll meet you. 
Well, Leon has to find a different route, which we will do later on. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Um, last time I practiced this, I did it single segment, 3 hours, 49 seconds. No saves, no dying, obviously. Because in this game, keeping ammo is really important, and when you die, you basically have to start over at a checkpoint. But there's a catch to saving, too. You have a limited amount of saves you can use. Wait. Boy, what are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Ooh. Sorry about that, dude. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Oh. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Hmm, love it. Okay, so, ammo is very important in this game since it is a horror survival game, so you need to pick up all the ammo you can. And your knife can be used. Well, I just never really use the knife. I just skip that. They basically just knock him over and eat him anyway. And um, you can get a weapon from him, but I'm not going to get it because, well, it's not that useful. And you can get every gun, this gun, later on in the game too. So. Resident Evil games always have this door thing. Not like Resident Evil 4, but like it's like any like Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. So, grab more ammo. Now, the thing is, these guys die really easily, so... Especially on easy, so like... It's like two shots, or three. dodge every... You you can actually dodge, I think, I believe, all of the zombies in this game and beat it without killing a single one, but I'm not sure if I want to try that during this Let's Play, because they're dangerous. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Couldn't take the elevator, because this was made in Japan, and Japanese people aren't lazy like Americans. And, uh, ooh, she's kind of cute. No, she's not. She's a zombie. No, let's kill her for no apparent reason. Let's see here. Hold on. Yes, I am. I never play with manual. Hate manual. Okay, fine. <laughs> and if you actually start the game on normal, you can just not get hit, not shoot anything, we can get hit, and you can actually get the special costume, which I'm not showing right now because it would take forever, and I don't have much time, you know, 15 minutes isn't exactly the perfect time limit for a video. I have seven minutes left, hopefully I can get where I need to go. So, you pick up the ammo, very important. got blood splattered all over the place. And if you see a pool of blood, when you see that pool of blood, that means that an enemy is dead and that it can't grab you and it can't stand up in any way. So if you're using this as a walkthrough, maybe, that's a little tip for you. Oh, I walked right into that when I was too busy checking the quality. I'll get a capture card when I get a job, once school, you know, starts and gets cooled down. And then I'll have a job, and I'll get some money, and I'll get a capture card and a mic, and we can really do this professional like. Take the safe route. This is actually where you'll see Brad Vickers. If you don't know who that is, play the first one, or watch the first one, which you should probably have done. Otherwise, I kind of spoiled some of the story at the beginning, because... Sequels always seem to do that. There's herbs there, and as Leon or something in arranged mode, but we don't need it. So continue on now we have six well five minutes so basically I'm just gonna get into the 
the the place with the black dude with the zombie dude thing and then I'm probably gonna save but before that happens let's show you some things okay so there's a statue here in old fountain something is written here to obtain the key to open your heart I'll wait for the unicorn the beautiful beast okay whatever that means we don't know You get that uh, music trying to scare you, you know? Doesn't really work for this, though, because you're safe in here for a while. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris. Jill Barry. Every last star's team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other star's members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. It's and umbrella, you say, huh? Lives, but no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other room. What survivors? Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Don't know why we can't take his gun, but whatever. But Just go. No! No, Lavar, no! Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Yeah. Maybe you should have been careful on the set, Lavar. You're gonna go to your happy reading rainbow town up in the sky. Up in the sky or, or wherever. Oh, well, you know what? We're stupid. I'm stupid at least. That's mean. I just called you stupid. There's handgun ammo. Handgun ammo! Basically, we'll, we will, uh, we'll unlock the doors. And then I will grab this message and I will read the message. And by the time I read the message, I'll just stop the camera and I'll find a save. I'll go to a save place and I'll just save. And we'll meet at that save place. Because I'm really interested in getting this continued because, well, you know. Okay, now that we're here, we are going to read this message. Police Memorandum, 8-23-1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of the equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor, 2236. Raccoon Police lies in department. I'm going to go off and save. And quit, and then we'll continue. The real journey starts next part. Because, you know, it's late. Two twelve. Ha, huh, reference you won't get. Well, you might. You know your streets. Roads. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. See, the only way to save your progress is like this. This is my actually file I already beat, so. Claire A. Zero one. There you go. Hall. Oh, now, don't complain because I'm not going for an A ranking. Seriously. That's just really annoying. And I don't even know if I'm going to pick up all the film canisters. And if I do pick them up, I probably might not get them developed because, well, there's a lot of stuff to collect in this game. I hope you enjoyed this part. Um, stay tuned for part two. I'll also be doing Twilight Princess with glitches, so. That will be interesting. Uh, I like doing Let's Plays with glitches, and then I also have some Sonic Heroes and some other games from my childhood that I'm actually going to play, and they're just going to be Let's Plays for fun, nothing serious, so don't expect this big, good game that you've heard of a lot. Well, anyway, gotta go. 15 minutes is almost up. Bye.